Felicitad, which means congratulations. Now, play bus. It's a play bus! But where does it go? Where does it stop? Watch for the sign of the lollipop. Peggy Patch. Peggy Patch is out today to find a patch to stop and play. Where will it be? Who will she meet? Has the bus stopped at the end of your street? The bus has stopped and Peggy's got off in a place today that's actually quite difficult to guess, but I'll give you some clues anyway. It's in a place down in a hollow with hills around. It's very peaceful, but up above there's factories, roads and houses. Can you guess where she is? Peggy's in a valley today, which is a low place between two hills. It's quite a small valley and normally you can see all the way around, but because it's early in the morning it's quite misty and you can't. Still, there should be lots of good places for Peggy to play hide and seek in today. She could be hiding way up high, up in the air, quite near the sky. She could be hiding down below. Where will she be? You never know. listening for water because normally in a valley there's a stream or river that runs down the middle and I can hear it but I don't know where it is I can hear a children's playground over there and I can hear something else as well oh, it's the factory making a noise you can see it now the mist has gone but where's the water Oh, there's a steep bank over here, perhaps it's at the bottom of that. I can't see. I need a higher place to look down from. Let's have a look over here. Oh, a bridge. I should be able to see from there. Oh, hello, Peggy. I was looking for this bridge to see if I could see the water. Looks like you beat me to it. Oh, shh. I can still hear the water, but I can't see it yet. Perhaps it's over the bridge. It's railway tracks. Oh, can you see the tunnel? What do you think might go in and out of there? A train. Where's the river? I can see a bridge which carries lorries and buses over it. There's another bridge. You don't suppose the water's there, do you? I can hear water. Oh, it's an aqueduct, which means it's a bridge that carries water over it. But what's that noise? Where's it coming from? Oh, it's a waterfall. I couldn't see it because it was hidden by the banks and the bushes. It's only a small river, but I expect it gets bigger later on. Peggy Patch has found some tunnels in the grass. They're made by a creature to say hello to. Say hello to this creature. A creature with... Beady eyes, 
and a twitching nose, who has long whiskers and likes to eat grass. It's a field vole. Field voles aren't very big creatures. They're only about the size of a small white mouse. And this tunnel here probably leads through to their nest in a tussock of grass. Other creatures, like owls, like to eat them, so they have to stay well hidden. And even when it's winter, they stay under the grass, even if it snows. And Peggy Patch has got an idea of what it's like for a field vole in the winter. What have you brought for me today then? What well, we brought the snowdrops for you and the oh. dipper. The and dipper. the dipper. Thank you. So, are those snowdrops? Yes. Yes. Oh, snowdrops. Oh, look, yes, snowdrops. The bulbs. I don't know what oh, kind We don't know the name of the flower that it grows into. Oh, right. So, so, so that one's. So, what's that one? Should I tell that That's one? That's a snake's head. What's it called, a snake's head? Because it used. Because it's, it's got, got a long pattern name. like a stick for like the flower. Yeah, and it's, got a, long, oh. it's got a long name, but um, instead of saying it, uh, having it with a long mm. name, we call it a snake's head. Actually, can I have a look at them? Can I have a look at that one over there? Let's have a look. Well, they're quite they're big, aren't they? Should, yeah, we, should we get one out? Let's have a look at them. Which one there? That one there? Yeah. yeah. I think that's the root one. Oh, no, well, that's the shoot. It can't be shoot. shoot. So that's the root. Where? Which one? Where? What's where? There's the shoot and there's the root. The daffodil so, bulbs. So have you, have you ever looked inside <gasps> one of these? Yes, yes, we cut them open with Mr Nichols. So what do they look like? Yeah. No, it's nice. It Let's have a look, nice. shall we? It stinks, that. Smells nice. Let's have a look. That one is right. sticky, but not as sticky. So, oh, where is the thing? Oh, it does smell, doesn't it? Oh dear, it smells a bit bad. That doesn't That's it. A... What's it look like? Does that... it look That's like something you eat? I mean, you no. can't eat them, but. What does it look like? <laughs> Open that one up because that's that really, really sticky. Is it? Let's have a yeah. look at that one. Yeah. Sticky is like it. a um, sticky ah. bee. Feel it. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. It's look at that. sticky. Let's look at that. So, what's that there? Is that the bit? What's yeah, that there? That's um, half of the shoot, but it hasn't come up yet. That but bit there? Yeah. yeah. Goes yeah. up there? Yeah. Like to that. there. And then they've got yeah. a little make a blue bottle. Uh, not a blue bottle. <laughs> <laughs> a blue bottle. A blue bell. Um, it's snake's head. Ah, let's have a look at snake's head. Yeah. Let's see what that looks like. We haven't then. opened the snake's head yet. Oh, let's cut open the snake's head then. Have you not seen one of these? No. We Let's haven't seen the inside of one. Oh, yeah, oh, look I at have. That. There's the shoot. Yeah. This on, is, it, where is it again? Where's the shoot? The, there's the shoot's in the middle. Right. And where's, where's the roots? The roots are there, the little roots. And all the white and the white bit on either side is the feeding. Shall we plant one of those in the ground? In the Which ground? one? This one. Yeah. Got it. Right, Piggy's got a patch ready, so we'll go and see her what she's done this way. Come this way. Oh, Peggy, someone must have dropped that. You know what to do with it, don't you? Pick a bit up, put a bit in, put a bit of litter in a litter bin. It was almost seven o'clock in the morning and still quite dark at Dumperton Cleansing Department. Stan, the dustbin man, with his mate Dan and the driver Fran, sat in the cab of Big Edna, the bin lorry, waiting to go out for the day's work. All the bin lorries were lined up with their engines running and their lights on, raring to go. 
Mr Wilkinson, the manager, never let them go before seven o'clock. Too early, he would say. Residents complain if you're out clanging bins too early. But once it was seven o'clock by Mr Wilkinson's watch, he waved his arm and all the bin lorries set off for the roads. Brum, brum, went some of the engines. Scream, scream, went others. Chug-a-dug, chug-a-dug, went Big Edna. With the help of Fran's careful driving, they made their way to the housing estate. Big Edna had a large scooping arm in her back which pushed all the rubbish to her front so they could empty hundreds of bins every day. Fran drove carefully and Dan worked quickly but Stan liked to say good morning to people and he liked to see what they were throwing out for some people in Dumperton had the most interesting rubbish. Sometimes the others had to wait for Stan. When they reached the community centre, it was playgroup morning. Mrs Plum, the leader, met Stan by the bin with a box full of broken toys. There was a doll's house with the door hanging off, a hobby horse's head and a swing with a broken seat. Surely those aren't rubbish, said Stan. Oh, I'm afraid so, said Mrs Plum. Once toys are broken, they're dangerous and we can't risk any accidents at the playgroup, can we? she started to tip them into the bin. Oh, don't put them in the bin, said Stan. I'll put them in Big Edna's cab. I'm sure we can find something to mend them with. Each time he was given something useful, he put it in Big Edna's cab. That morning, he collected a broom handle, a rabbit hutch, a cupboard door and an old car tyre. Oh, no, moaned Fran. He's at it again. There'll soon be no room for the driver. Why must we have all this rubbish in here, Stan? It's not rubbish, said Stan firmly as he went to pick up the next bin. It's all useful stuff. That week, after work each day, Stan went into his workshop and started to mend the playgroup's toys. He made a new hobby horse body with the broom handle, with the hinges from the rabbit hutch, he fixed the door on the doll's house and when the car tyre was scrubbed clean, it made an ideal swing seat. The following week, when he returned to the playgroup, Mrs Plum was thrilled with what he'd done. Thank you, Stan. You are clever, she said. The children were pleased too and Stan watched for a while as they played with the mended toys. But soon... He heard the sound of Big Edna's horn and saw Dan impatiently waiting to get on. Must go, said Stan. See you all next week. The next call was the greengrocers. Stan gave Fran a cheeky look. Now I wonder if there's room in cab for those useful looking orange boxes, he said. Pick a bit up. Put a bit in, put a bit of litter in a litter bin. Put a bit of litter, put a bit of litter, put a bit of litter in a litter bin. Oh, pick it up, put a bit in, put a bit of litter in a litter bin. Put a bit of litter, put a bit of litter in a litter bin. Peggy Patch's puzzle. Peggy's found some more litter. Which ones do you think should go in the bin? What about a banana skin? Well, in the town it's litter because people might slip on them and hurt themselves. But in the country, if you throw them away, they just rot and disappear. But we'll put it in the bin for now. What about a drinks can? Well, if you see the ring pull, which is quite sharp and dangerous, just put it inside the can and throw it away straight away. Sweet wrappers. They go in the bin straight away. 
But what about the stones from fruit? Well, they're seeds, aren't they? So if you plant them, they might turn into fruit trees. I think we'll plant one in front of Peggy. You never know, it might turn into a plum tree. There you go, Peggy. Right, so we've got all the bulbs now. So what do they need? Watering. Watering. So we need watering cans though. We haven't got any though, have we? No. Oh, wait a minute, look down there. Look, there's your friends with some watering cans. Oh, yeah! Here they come. Pictures of this, pictures of that. I like your pictures, says Peggy Patch. You painted them and coloured them, even stuck them with glue. I like your pictures, says Peggy. I hope you like doing them too. All rubbish is useless. I'm going to make something with all these. If you've got an old cheese carton, you fill it with sand or earth, and take a piece of cardboard and put a piece of green on it. I'll put a dab of glue on there, I think. There we go, like that. I've got a picture of a daffodil which came from a flower catalogue. What I'm going to do is stick that on there. Like that. And then I'll plant it in the sand. Make sure it's nice and firm. And I've got two more bits of green card. And they're the leaves. I'll put them either side. I've got a daffodil. Oh, don't forget the field vole. A creature with beady eyes and a twitching nose who has long whiskers and likes to eat grass. <coughs> oh, there's the bus. Come on, Peggy, bring your friend. The bus is here. Peggy will find another patch to stop and play in next week, so we'll see you there. Bye. <coughs>